Okay, today we're going to do some work on the electrical panel. What we need to do is move these two circuits. We're gonna move them down here, out of the way, because I need to put this 50 amp in here because we are going to hook up this generator interlock kit, which will serve as a transfer switch for our backup generator in case the power goes out. So the 50 amp basically becomes the transfer switch, switch with this kit. So first things first, we need to turn off the power. Now that we've got the power out, we can take all the screws off the panel. Okay, so fairly simple. This is your power coming in up here. These don't touch that. That's still alive. All of this should be dead down here. Um, like I said, we're gonna move these two. We're gonna disconnect those. We'll have to add some jumper wires onto those to make them long enough to reach down here. And you'll need some 12 gauge wire. We'll just strip some and wire nut them on there to extend it and looks like we've got a 20 amp here this one's a 15 so i need to make sure that i get them in the right spot you know that that the, the same wire gets hooked up to this breaker because we don't want to flip flop 15 to 20 amp i didn't even look at see what they are i believe one's for the kitchen one's for the furnace so all you do and some are different this one takes a flat blade screwdriver some of them take uh, an allen or a torx or who knows these new ones this is a somewhat older it's not that old of a box but uh, some of the newer ones have some goofy connectors on there so i'm gonna remember that this is the the upper one which is the 20 amp i'll disconnect this one I'm just gonna keep that below so that I remember that's the, the bottom one, the 15. And then when I pop these out, I'm gonna set them on my little bench here uh, in that same order so that the 20 amp and the 15 amp is on top so I don't forget. And these just pop right out. I'll show you on this new one. This is actually where the power is coming in. These just connect to the plastic on the box. So that's that snaps in and you click it in. So let's do the opposite to pull it out. That's the 20 amp. There's the 15 and I'm going to set those aside so I don't get the placement screwed up. Now, since these are too short, I need to cut some jumper wires. So I've got a roll of 12 2 wire down here, it's 12 gauge. It's got three wires in it. I only need the one. So, I always cut a little extra just to make sure. And we'll just get started stripping that. Pull the insulation off. There. Now we need to strip that wire. And this is the bottom one. And I always forget, but you want to go just like you were tightening a screw, righty tighty, lefty loosey, so that when you put your wire nut on, the threads grab and actually help tighten rather than 
basically pulling it, your two wires apart. Cap it off with some electrical tape. And we'll do the same thing for the other. And I could, if I was being really cheap, just use the white wire that I pulled out but from the other splice I made, but I want everything to match. I don't want anybody to be, be confused when they're opening this thing up. So we'll use another black one. Okay. Now we can go ahead and snap our circuit breakers back in. This is the 20 from the top, this is 15 from the bottom. And here's that rail, that, that plastic rail I was telling you about. So that just kind of snaps right on there. And then, well, easier said than done. Okay. All right. Now I've still got my wires in the same orientation. So this is the one that's going to go to the bottom. This is the one that's going to go to the top one. So I'll just measure that out, eyeball it, and I will cut that right there. Rip about the same amount off. And then we'll just slide it back in there and tighten it down. Same process. Tight. Now I'm going to take these in so they're out of the way. All we have left to do now is to install our 50 amp breaker, which is the whole reason we're doing this, is to make room for that guy. And we're, uh, we're not even going to hook anything up to it right yet. I don't have any six gauge wire because uh, that'll come in a later video. But basically what I'm gonna have to do is run another service to the outside of the house to accept the generator. But for now, this part of the project is done. Put 
put our cover back on. Very easy. Wiggle these a little bit, as you can see, it's not all perfectly lining up. Not too worried about it, because like I said, this isn't the end of the project. This is just going to be the end of this video. Can straighten those out and get that to sit flush when we open it back up to install the wiring for the new generator inlet. But that's it. We'll turn the power back on. Hopefully nothing goes bang. I don't think it did. We'll just leave that 50 amp off for now. Everything else looks good. I'll go upstairs and make sure that these circuits are working like they should be and that should be it.